uh, these organizations are making so much money, but what's going to happen when these kids don't make it? And that's why I felt it was important to talk about this today. If I was in my 20s and I had the chance to do it over, I'm 44, so let's just take myself. 24 years ago, what I would do in this day and age in order to live the American dream as an athlete in my 20s. What's going on YouTube? Today is Saturday, July 13th. Another beautiful day. And man, I've been thinking about something that I see on social media, but I also been thinking about something as a former athlete while well, I'm still an athlete. Let's just say that. But a former young athlete going after the dream. I seen this video with this mom and she has these, these two sons and they were um, going to a tournament and she was running down her expenses on what she spent just on this one trip, right? Flights were like 1400 and a bunch of other expenses. I think it might amount to over four grand if you add it up, right? She didn't have a total at the end. And I see this over and over again. I see a lot of parents investing all of this money into these into their kids. And I think it's for the dream of them eventually cashing out, right? being able to play professional, whether it's basketball, football, baseball, hockey, soccer. So parents are investing all of this money. And I got to thinking, if I was a young athlete, let's just say 20 years old, what would I do in order to achieve the American dream? And I think the American dream is to play professional sports in the, at the top level, NBA, NFL, MLB, NHL. But what would I do in order to achieve the American dream before I even get to that level? Because it's not guaranteed you even get to that level very very small percentage that you even get to that level but nowadays with nil with college colleges um cleared to be able to pay players i think someone in their 20s can achieve the american dream so i wrote down what i would do if i was 20 years old or if i was in my 20s and i wanted to achieve the american dream going on guys so for this video I wrote down some notes because I think this is a important important topic reason being is because I believe the sports industry especially like this the youth sports industry I believe the bubble is going to burst just like the dot-com era of the 90s I personally believe that the competition of kids trying to make the NBA, NFL, uh, Major League Baseball, and hockey is so immense right now and I believe it's going to burst. What's going to happen when these kids don't make it? And that's why I felt it was important to talk about this today. If I was in my 20s and I had the chance to do it over, I'm 44, so let's just take myself. 24 years ago, what I would do in this day and age in order to live the American dream as an athlete in my 20s. I'm talking to 
the, the the average, right? The average American kid that has a dream. I'm not, I believe all of this is happening with this boom in athletics because you see contracts like Jason Jason Tatum, 300 some odd million dollars, biggest NBA contract. You see these massive contracts. So with an economy where it's not that good of economy and you see numbers like this, man, the American dream is everybody's going to be fighting for those numbers. Um, and I see like, like mothers that have sons across the U.S. thinking this could be us, right? And I, would, I wouldn't say it's not possible because it is, right? It is possible. But the reality about it and the real talk about it is it's just not enough jobs for everyone. And what are the ones that don't make it? What are they doing to prepare to fail? Um, that's an honest question. So for me, if I wanted to achieve the American dream, right? I'm an athlete, average athlete, you know, from you know, 20 years old, from Buffalo, New York, right? Uh, I have no big time offers. And I'm talking, to play, I'm talking about a player that's like me, right? I'm 6'6", six, six, uh, left hand guard, wear size 13, 14, very athletic, and just have raw potential. I'm not talking about a 5'5 five, five kid that wears a size six or seven and is not gonna grow, right? Let's, we have to be realistic. You know, we're talking about six, three, six, six, five, six, 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 seven guys that just are off the radar. This, I believe, will set a 20 year old for the rest of his life, but it's not easy. And trying to get to be a top tier anything is not going to be easy. And the most of athletes is not gonna sign up to do this. Parents, you can do this with your child. You guys should do this together. First thing, if I'm not a high recruit out of high school, I'm leaving the environment that I'm in, right? So whatever, whatever city I'm going to remove myself or my parents hopefully will remove me from that environment and take me and start fresh in another environment. And the reason why is because now you have accumulated all these friends that don't have the same goals as you. And you need to be in isolation at this point if you want to achieve your dreams. Second, from 18, I graduated at 18. I'm either probably gonna go to a prep school or I'm going to take a year off. And the reason why I'm gonna take either take a year off, you get a chance to step back, right? It's almost like you have an injury, but you don't have an injury. But you get a chance to step back from the game. And I think that's I think that's fair because nowadays age really doesn't matter. You're not on a, like a, a time track where you need to be you need to speed up your time. You have 24, 25 year old, fifth year seniors, Division One that are just lighting it up in a tournament or having great senior years and actually getting opportunities at the NBA. Don't speed up your process. Right? If you go prep, man, listen, keep your eyes on the prize or take a year off, step back, train. Going into my freshman year, I would be 19, 20, right? Now I'm, I'm focused and I'm ready, right? My mind is right, I know exactly what I wanna do. Now that I know what I know, I would start doing this when I started, right? At seventh grade, I would've started documenting my story. Beside on the court performance and being a great at what you do, that's the second important um, aspect of an athlete is their story. What I would do is I would just reverse engineer like what ESPN does. Like I'm making myself like a documentary. I'm doing it completely raw and I'm showing, you know, like what I'm doing, you know, every single day. Third thing I'm doing, I'm getting off of social media. Like I don't have Instagram at all, right? Um, as far as like, like consuming Instagram, I have an Instagram as my business card almost, but I'm not consuming Instagram. Um, I don't need to know what's going on. Again, I'm in isolation. I'm a, I need to be oblivious, right? Um, how I would use Instagram is what I would do is I would post one picture and or video 
for every single year. So if I'm a seventh grader, if I started playing ball that seventh grade, I have one video or one picture every single year. Seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade, the year off or the prep school, one video and or picture, right? That's what my, you know, that's what my profile is, right? And I have a link to my complete journey um, that people can watch, right? That, I'm, that I've been documenting. The fourth thing I'm doing is I'm finding one girlfriend. That's it. I'm finding one girl that believes in me and that knows exactly what we're trying to do and that's bought into that. And we're gonna go on this ride together. I'm supporting her, she's supporting me. But we, ha we have to understand each other and she has to understand and get on the program of what we're trying to do together, right? So I'm not running around with different girls, I'm not dating different girls, I'm not, I'm not doing none of that. I'm, I'm buckled down with one girl and we're going on this journey together. Number five, I'm training like a pro in off season, right? Uh, see, preparation is so key. Like you prepare thousands of hours, thousands of hours just to play 40 minutes, right? So that's how I'm preparing. I'm, pre I'm, I'm preparing myself thousands of hours and I'm putting myself through training and I'm doing training and I'm keeping myself on a strict routine. I'm already being a professional at, as I'm 20 years old. I'm tracking all of my metrics, right? And like I said, I'm filming my process every day. And again, this is in the off season. So in the morning, I'm training basketball two hours, eating breakfast after, resting, training my mind, right? Uh, whether I'm reading, I'm watching documentaries or whatever, but then I'm also having fun after that, right? I'm being a kid after that. Three days a week, I'm probably gonna watch film. Uh, and then in the evening, I'm gonna have a second workout. Three times per week, I'm gonna lift weights, right? And three times, three times a week, I'm also going to play pickup. I'm not playing more than that, and when I'm playing pickup, I'm playing to work on the things that I have been training to do, right? I'm not just playing pickup, doing aimless things, and like I'm, I'm playing pickup with a purpose. And I'm icing, I'm taking care of my body early. And all of this is documented for the, pro, you know, documented for step 10, actually. Number six, I'm branding myself, right? I'm thinking, what brands do I like? Now with the internet, we can identify like who's doing these brands social media, like who's doing these brands marketing. You can identify all of that, all of those things. And I would start making introductions to those people, you know, telling them my story, making a video maybe about me and not asking for anything, but just establishing a relationship. So maybe I pick 10 brands that I'm doing that with. Number seven, now when it's time to go to a school, I'm gonna choose my school wisely. And at this point, for me, it would not matter what level I went. It could be D3, right? But I need data, right? This is, this is the key thing. I've been training, I need data. I need to know what I can do, where I am, and how I can get better. So the perfect part about everything right now is that you have the transfer portal so you can leave whenever, right? So you, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to stay in one place or be penalized if you move to another school. So I'm looking for the best fit for me as a player. I'm looking for the best coach for me. I'm looking for a place where I'm relaxed off the court. And I'm also looking for a place that I can train whenever I want. I have access to the gym 24 hours a day where I can train every single day. The thing is getting the data. And every year we're documenting it all. At this school right here, I'm staying for at least two years, maybe three years because it doesn't matter, you're gonna get the fifth year if you graduate, so wherever you go, you still have a good two years to, to play. Number eight is giving back, right? So I've been doing all of these things as a 20 year old, and I have this routine, and 
I'm seeing progress. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull up a kid that's lower than me and I'm going to show him exactly what I'm doing and I'm going to help him through his process all the way up to where I am, right? So I'm giving back now. I'm also sending my progress out to my dream schools. Whatever those schools may be, UCLA, Kentucky, what, where, whatever, I'm sending my progress out. I want to start getting on the radar. Now, here's a cliff note, here's a cliff note, here's a cliff note, because none of this shit will work at all. None of this shit will work if you don't perform on the court. I'm speaking to myself as a 20 year old where, look, any and everywhere I played, I averaged 20 points and 10 rebounds. Like, my goal was to be the best that I could possibly be. So this won't work if you think you're just gonna, you know, not be a good player or not try to be the best that you could possibly be. So let's just, I just wanted to put that cliff note in there, right? Um, you have to be performing good in order for these, this to happen for you. You need solid numbers. You know, you need a definition to your game. What are you, are you a defense stopper? You're a knockdown shooter? Are you three and D? Are you a, a great point guard that controls the game? You are a slasher, like you a high riser. What are you? You need a definition to what you do. Number nine, number nine, you've kept your routine and people and coaches are starting to take notice, right? Um, you're athletic, you're, you're confident, and this is a key thing. Like because you've put in all of these repetitions, you're confident. You know, you like you, you know that you can play on whatever level. So when you step on the floor, because you put so much work in, you're confident that you can match up and you can line up with anybody. Think about this. Now, universities can pay kids, right? And for any coach in school that's interested, I'm asking for a million dollars per year. And it's a reason for that. It's a reason for that. I'm good enough, right? I have all of the data from the previous two to three years. And I have it all documented and I'm telling this story. So that university, that coach is going to be a part of that story. That's why I'm asking for that million dollars per year. Here is the last step. I'm now cashing in on brand deals and NIL because I've already established that relationship, right? Um, local businesses I'm signing deals with. And lastly, I'm making a full documentary called How I Did It of all of the footage and everything that I've documented up until this point. Now, here, here are some key points to this. Again, you have to perform and you have to keep working. Like none of this works if you don't perform. Now, hopefully you're a solid player and you, you know, at the new university, you know, you, you do very well and you get some looks for the NBA. You've established yourself as a brand, right? You, you're, you're a millionaire. You're living the American dream in your 20s and that's without being an NBA player. Um, but I continue. I document that process of possibly going to the NBA and if I don't, I document the process of going overseas and my, and, and my goal to make it back to the NBA. Here's the last thing, and this is, this, is, this is extra. Now that you have all of this footage, <laughs> you could possibly get millions of dollars for your story all throughout the journey, right? Long and short, that's 10 things on how you could achieve the American dream in your 20s without making it to the NBA. This is the reason why I created my platform, All Dreams. It's dedicated for athletes to document their sports journey. Um, and if you have a child that has a, a similar vision and you have a similar vision for that child to become an athlete, brand yourself as an athlete, train and become a great athlete and a great performer, um, I can help you. I can help you along this process. Uh, starting earlier is also better. I would say starting fifth, sixth grade, that's when you should start documenting but it's a way to document. It's not just documenting the highlights. It's not just here, let me, let, me, let me pick up the phone and document. It's a process 
and how to do it. I've been documenting myself for over 15 years now, right? Um, and I have that framework and I can help you to document your child throughout the process. So there's one more thing I want to say about this video, right? Because people might say, hey, sports is supposed to be fun and sports is just, you know, we're, you know, kids are just supposed to be playing sports. But we have to realize something is that sports is a business, right? Yes, sports is fun and uh, it helps kids develop and gives kids valuable, valuable life skills. But sports is a business, especially at this point. When you have name image likeness for high schoolers and college young people, it's a business. These universities are a business. Even if you think of education wise, it's a business. The NBA is a business. ESPN is a business. And if you don't start looking at yourself as a business when you're an athlete, you're going to lose out. Coaching is a business. You get to division one and you get into those gyms and you bullshit, that coach will kick your ass out because the thing about it is this, their job and their livelihood is on the line. And what I'm trying to say right now is that starting young, if you're going to be an athlete, you need to take it as a business. That's what I know because sports is a business. Parents and kids have to take it as such. That's the end of this video. Subscribe and let me know about what you think about how I would personally achieve the American dream in my 20s as an athlete without making it to the NBA. Peace.